Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and uh, on our Patreon channel. One moment here. Let me just kind of make the volume go down on this here. Uh, but on our Patreon channel and the, the, the photographic imagery, I think, says it all. Is it? <clears throat> it's out there. And we're talking about the binary system that no doubt is what's causing all the calamities on the earth today. Uh, I'd said that I was going to talk about the Pharisees that are mentioned in the Assumption of Moses, a, a very interesting, uh, almost 2,000 year old document uh, that we have that is was never part of the canon of the Bible. And, and it does go into the Pharisees about being a fake slave class priesthood that goes into power into Israel. But it also talks about what I believe may be very well this coming binary system in the near future. And so I wanted to share with you some images here before sharing with you some of the text that's written there in the Assumption of Moses. And of course, as many of you already know, there are many, many things, anomalies happening around the world. That was, I think, in Iceland, that volcano there. This one is in Indonesia. Uh, you can't even see the lava because of all the smoke plumes and stuff that's going off there. Massive eruption. These, of course, have been going off for, for, for weeks now. Uh, just amazing, amazing footage that they're putting out there. Uh, they've had to close down airports that are uh, almost 100 miles away because of the visibility uh, from all the ash and soot that's being put up into the atmosphere. Uh, so it's very, very serious situation that's happening globally. But it's not just volcanoes, it's everything you can think of. Uh, we have, besides the volcanoes, you have <clears throat> just recently these massive tornadoes. Uh, just the other day, several Cat 4, Cat 5 tornado systems going across the Midwest there, just wreaking havoc everywhere. And, uh, and, and we're seeing more and more and more tornadoes uh, that are popping up. We're having a lot of really high winds, things like that that are happening. And then there's another thing that's happening as well, and that's hail. Now, the other day, I, uh, I actually was sharing, uh, or I think I just posted it on Twitter there. It was hail that was bigger than the size of softballs. Bigger. These here are at least the size of baseballs right here. And if you remember, I had told you guys a couple of years back uh, that there were going to be, well, that's about the size of a softball, sure enough. Uh, that there's going to be hell the size of softballs. And that was before we even had anything like this happening. And one thing I've always been told is that right before the coming of Planet X, you would really see a lot of major disturbances in our weather and patterns that would be going on. Well, this here happens to be, by the way, Saudi Arabia. Uh, that ground looks like it's covered in snow is actually from ice, from the hail that was falling on the ground there in Saudi Arabia. It got so thick, it literally uh, looked like snow on the ground there. Now here's where it first begins to fall, right here. And of course, they're also getting some very large balls of hail as well, uh, but it ends up being so much of it that it ended up looking like snow on the ground once it covered the desert out there. And that, like I said, is in Saudi Arabia. And then, if that doesn't make matters worse, as you already know, we're getting all these floods. And these floods are happening. They're just happening everywhere. Everywhere you can possibly imagine in the world, especially right now in China, Africa. I think this one here is in Africa, uh, down in Indonesia, uh, 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 you know, India, you name it, Russia. Massive, massive floods of unprecedented uh uh, ever in, in history. And I believe in this one here, a dam had broke uh, because it could just not hold back the waters uh, so heavy of the flooding that was going on there. So all these things are happening. And as I said, when we see this binary system coming, like we have in this picture right here, um, you know, this truly is what causes havoc on the sun. And as it causes havoc on the sun, the sun causes us us to have havoc here on the earth there. I haven't talked about this in a long time. By the way, if you want, you can uh, listen to this one here, Ascension of Moses, the Testament of Moses uh, from Pilgrim on uh, YouTube. I like this version here because they include the fragments that are not part of the 600 uh, or the uh, about 1600 year old document that they do have. 
from a Koine Greek version of this, but on this particular video, they also include other excerpts from different uh, early church fathers that quote it, uh, that have parts and bits and pieces of the fragments that are not in the canon itself. So it's kind of nice to be able to see that there. Anyway, looking at some of the parts here where it talks about what I think may be very well, speaking of this binary system coming, is where, uh, and this is attributed to Moses, um, where he says here, and the, and the earth shall tremble, so its confines shall it be shaken, and the high mountains shall be made low, and the hills shall be shaken and fall, and the horns of the sun shall be broken, and he shall be turned into darkness, and the moon shall not give her light, and be turned holy into blood, and the circle of the stars shall be disturbed, and the sea shall retire into the abyss, and the fountains of waters shall fail, and the river shall dry up, for the Most High will arise, and the eternal God alone, and he will appear to punish the Gentiles, and he will destroy all their idols. Actually, that would have been the nations. They just put Gentiles in there. And he will punish the, the nations, and he will destroy all their idols. Then you, O Israel, shall be happy, and you shall mount upon the necks and wings of, of, of the eagle, and they shall be ended, and God will exalt you, and he will cause you to approach to the heaven of the stars and the place of their habitation, and you will look from on high and see your enemies in Gehenna. That, my friends, I think is very interesting to say the least uh, in this here. And like I said, there are there is a very interesting part. In fact, maybe I'll just scroll up real quick because we were talking about it anyway. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't think they call them Pharisees. It's just, you know, let's see, in times of chastisement, chastisement draws nigh. A vengeance arises through the kings who share in their guilt and punishment in them by themselves. Also shall be divided as the truth. Wherefore it hath been said, they shall turn aside from righteousness and approach iniquity. They shall defile with pollutions the house of their worship. And because they shall prostitute themselves with strange gods, for they shall not follow the truth of God, but some shall pollute the altar with the very gifts which they offer to the Lord, who are not priests, but slaves and sons of slaves. And many in those times shall have respect unto desirable persons and receive gifts and pervert judgment on receiving presents. And on this account, the colony of the borders of their habitation shall be filled with lawless deeds and iniquities. And those who wickedly depart from the Lord shall be judges. They shall be ready to judge for money as each may wish. Now, by the way, Jesus condemns the Pharisees and sages of all these crimes here when he comes. Then there shall be raised up uh, unto them the kings bearing rule, and they shall call themselves priests of the Most High God, and they shall assuredly work iniquity in the Holy of Holies, and an insolent king shall succeed them who will not be of the race of the priest, a man bold and shameless, and he shall judge them as they shall deserve. And he shall cut off their chief men with the sword and shall destroy them in secret places so that no one may know where their bodies are. He shall slay the old, the young, and he shall not spare. Then the fear of him shall be bitter unto them in their land, and he shall execute judgments on them as the Egyptians executed upon them during thirty and four years. Uh, and he shall punish them, and he shall beget children, and succeeding him shall rule for a shorter periods until their parts and cohorts and powerful king of the west shall come, who shall conquer them, and he shall take them captive and burn part of their temple with fire, and shall crucify some around their colony. Sound familiar, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. I hope you enjoy this short little broadcast here on our Patreon channel. And uh, we look forward to sharing more information with you here in the coming days. God bless you.